Hey guys, this is Shiraz from Integration IT and today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Elastix uh, 2.4 or Elastic 4 to Isabel PVX. So people who don't know what is Isabel PVX is, Isabel basically built on top of Elastix uh, 4.0. So as you know, Elastic has been acquired by 3C, 3CX uh, PBX uh, but what Isabel did is uh, they have they have taken the Elastix 4.0 and they have did the enhancement and the upgrade on on Elastic 4.0 so I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are struggling to have or who do does not or people who do not have an option for an upgrade so this is the video for them and I will show you how you can upgrade or migrate your Elastix 2.4 or 4.0 to Isabel. So all you need to do is, uh, let me begin with this one. I have one Elastic server running in and I have some dummy data inside this server. So let me just quickly log in. And so this is my uh, my Elastics. So assume this is your running Elastics PBX, maybe 2.4 or 4.0, doesn't matter. So I will show you. I have some uh, some configuration done. Like you know, if you go to the PBX configuration and I have some extensions configured. I have a zip trunk configured. Okay, so now I want to move to the latest release of Isabel because they are doing developments. They, there are things going on with the Isabel. So you don't need to stuck uh, stuck with the old Elastics where you do not have any further updates or you need to go to the 3CX to buy further licenses. So what are the things we need is we first of all we need an uh, we need a backup from this system and for that we just scroll the system you go to the backup restore if you have 2.4 you need to look for this option backup restore I think this is again uh, uh, under the system you will find the backup restore so click on it and then now as you can see we do not have any backup so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new backup all right select all the option because you want in order to get everything whatever you have configured in your pbx you can you can uncheck if you do not need any of these all right so click on process and it purely depends how big your database is or how big your configuration is it gonna take time so as you can see the backup is done so this is my backup file name I'll go back to the backup and restore process and here I have my backup ready so what I need to do is I need to download the backup so when I clicked on the backup file and you can see I have my backup available here it has been downloaded on my local computer not inside the PBX server but on your local PC from where you are accessing the website uh, web URL of the Elastics now we have our backup ready so what we need to do is we need to move to the to our Isabel I will log in as an Isabel. Alright. Now, as you can see, I don't have anything configured here. My PBX configuration. I don't have any extension. I don't have any zip trunks. I don't have anything at all. So now we are ready uh, to do our backup restore. So what you need to do is you go to the system, you go to the backup restore and then you 
say the upload because we want, we want to upload the new backup so click on the upload and I will pick the database file I'll say yes setup has been done uploaded successfully so yeah just click on it so it has recognized that file was taken from the elastic so it is asking me to or take an action to migrate from elastic so I'll click migrate from elastics and it will begin the process it will unzip the tar file and it will start taking the configuration file we just go down just to make sure we have the message of success uh, still the progress is going on please wait updating the elastic pbx module so as i said this is purely depending how big your database is and based on that it's gonna take time so it's still taking time and we need to wait for the message once it is done okay I'm not pausing the video so you will see the entire process so you will not miss anything so we'll just give them some more time okay it is restarting the module okay it's a very simple process it, you should not have any error error it should go smooth and yeah if you want me to do the upgrade for you you can always contact me I have shared the link in the description you can click on it and then you can contact me if you need any help about the elastics or the Isabel PBX I would be happy to help you out it's getting done all right as you can see the migration is has been completed I'll click OK and if I'm not mistaken it will reboot the machine or no okay let me just quickly check my VM machine no still alive all right okay so now just to make sure uh, let's see whether we our extensions are available or not all right you can see the extensions what we had what we have in our elastic pbx now we have available inside our isabel pbx so just make sure you apply config so it will apply the configuration and we will make sure our zip trunk is available available as well yes indeed it is there so we'll just confirm from here trunks yeah it's good it's it's just just a dummy just dummy trunk i created just to show you guys that that the migration process will take care of everything you don't need you don't need to do anything you don't need any technical skills but still as i said if you need any help if you want me to do the job for you you can contact me from the link description and i will get back to you on that so i hope you like the video i hope you have learned the migration process please like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel till then goodbye